darkness. It is a feeling that you are alone. It's a feeling that you are alone in a dark area, in a dark space, within your head in particular. But um, it's a feeling that um, you are alone in the world is probably the best way that I can deal with it. The work you do is frequently work alone when you're preparing. Uh, and although there might be, um, uh, you might have friends, you might have colleagues, your actual work days are solitary. And that can be very hard to adjust to. Being isolated is just generally not a good thing for mental health, I think, and, and having that, that sense of, of community with the people that, that you're working with is, um, is really quite important for, for mental health and wellbeing. And we, we know that that's uh, being eroded um, because of current technological trends. I think the profession has perhaps gotten used to the idea that you get these young graduates in and they're like factory fodder and you just work them, work them, work them. They want to do work experience, you know, and people get burnt out doing that and they're not valued. Mentally, I had a lot of thoughts, uh, anxiety and anxious thoughts that just bombarded me the whole time and they just go um, like a train wreck to the catastrophe and I just couldn't stop those thoughts. And then um, emotionally very sad and flat. So I could actually physically feel my sadness and it was a, quite overwhelming. As we know from survey after survey, statistic after statistic, one in three lawyers suffers um, stress, depression and mental illness. More education is required of young lawyers law students and young lawyers of uh, the stress of work uh, and some of the problems that can arise. What's not really understood um, until you're in practice is how isolating it can be. I've seen people um, self-medicate to the point of being under the influence and having to leave work. Um, I've seen people um, just absolutely exhausted from trying to cope with what they perceive the demand is. And, and they don't seem to realise that it's their perception and it may not be a realistic way to do things. And they, they don't know how to say no. We are trained to look for negatives, not positives. Uh, we live in an adversarial bubble in our work. Uh, we live in a bubble to a fair degree with who we also socialise with. It may be that I've seemed to have coped because I'm good at hiding it. And I think that many lawyers are very good at hiding it. And many lawyers are almost a perpetual motion machine. And that perpetual motion is fuelled by uh, stress, the need to get things done external stresses, courts, clients, uh, police. There are times when you will feel that you're out of your depth and you are going to feel anxious and, you know, for whatever reason, be it partly personal, partly professional or, or both, um, that you just need to sit down and, and take some me time and be a little bit calm. It's about balance. You know, it, it's important to have a, a peer group within whatever professional or educational context you're working in and, and people that you trust and feel supported by. But it's important to have a, a, a broader um, community that, that you can escape to and, and, and debrief with in other ways. There are things that should change. Then there are things that can change. Um, but while we have the system we have, we cannot have fundamental change. What we can change is the way we think about how law is practised. And when it comes to stress, depression and anxiety, we need to very strongly think about those things and, and why uh, they are happening and why they continue to happen. There has to be a way to deal with this. There has to be an answer because if we don't, the problem will just continue to get worse. And I think what we will find with the next generations that are coming on through is that they will not put up with the behaviours, put up with the attitudes, put up with uh, this constant requirement to be a lawyer 24-7 as earlier generations like mine have allowed ourselves. 
A well-rounded practitioner, from my perspective, would be someone who enjoys going to work, who has genuine empathy with their clients, and goes home and sleeps well at night.